Hi, and welcome to the MBA 512 Business Planning and Strategic Management Summer Overview. So this is the overview of the online class. And I'm going to start first in course documents and with the syllabus. So when you get to the syllabus here, let me just move this over a bit. The first thing you'll see is a link to, um, this is a sample case study that you can look at to get an idea of what the case studies are like as assignments. And this will show, and basically this is a, a very small case studies, but it'll show the uh, questions of the case study. Then I provide the actual case you read over and then you will draft your responses on a, on a separate document and upload it to Blackboard. And this is just sort of an example of how to uh, put your document together with a citation and answer the uh, questions provided in the uh, sample. Okay, so we want to look that over. The syllabus. So for the course, um, you should read over this syllabus in its entirety to get a, a better idea of your responsibilities for the course. Now this is going to be an asynchronous class, which means that I'm going to provide videos, documents, lectures, tests and assignments and then you pick the time of day which is best for you to work on it. All the assignments will be clearly labeled with due dates so you can work on it at any time up until the due date. Once the due date is passed the assignment will no longer be visible on Blackboard and I will not accept any late assignments just to make that clear now. Um, so the the basic idea of the course is that we're going to look at we're going to pretend you're an aspiring manager who wants to um, steer a company to victory, to success, to profitability. So we're going we're gonna to look over how people interact with businesses, businesses interact against each other, and how businesses interact with the consumer, all with the idea of maintaining a competitive advantage in relationship to other businesses in the industry. And I want you to be able to identify factors that make businesses successful, uh, how to identify strengths and weaknesses and opportunities and threats within a business, and how to, how to uh, combat any type of increased competition. So as far as these, these are basically our learning goals and as far as achieving our learning goals we're going to use the uh, two textbooks I have outlined here and you may want to call up Blackboard because this may be too small to really view on YouTube but I have one black one uh, book is Kellogg's on strategy which is a classic book on strategy that has all the traditional uh, concepts and tools for business strategy and then I also use the Blue Ocean Strategy book which is a, um, a more modern book on some new um, ideas on innovation and product development and how to be how to compete in a new way so these are the two books for the course that we're going to be using um, I'm also going to be working with an online computer simulation and this is, you know, this is a simulation that's going to help you to apply and reinforce the concepts of this class. Um, and you, I think you'll find that very interesting. I'm also going to work with uh, case studies to look at some, some specific case studies of more current uh, business-oriented real-world events and companies and also discussion boards. Okay, so the assignments, we're going to be going over those in a minute. They are posted on Blackboard and you'll be able to view that in a minute. The nice thing, actually, the nice thing about these two textbooks are around $20 each. So the textbooks are kind of a lower cost, which is good because they're mass published. They're not, they're not official textbooks you'd buy um, that are used only in campuses. They're also sold everywhere at Barnes & Noble, Amazon, and, of course, our bookstore on campus. Okay, so the grades will consist of participation within the discussion boards, which will be 18 points or 3 points a question or three points a week. So there'll be six weeks of three points, which is the 18 points, and you're going to earn these by participating in the discussion boards. There's going to be five mini case studies that are going to total 42 points. And the case studies are usually between two to four pages, uh, depending on the amount of questions and the size of the case study. We have an online exam that will be 25 points, and that will be posted on, uh, I'm going to update these dates here. I'll let them later, but they'll be posted. It's going to be July 6th and 7th. The uh, simulation is 15 points of the grade, so that makes your full 100 points. 
And this is how the points will translate into a letter. Now, um, okay, so the test will be online. The, uh, the test will be based on material from the textbooks, both textbooks, and the format will be essay and short answer, and you'll have two days to complete. Uh, see assignments on July 7th. It will appear at 6 a.m. July 7th and disappear at 11 p.m. on July 8th. Okay. And again, here is the here is the course schedule, which I'm also going to post on the announcements for the for the six weeks, and we'll talk about that shortly. Okay. So let's go. So that is the syllabus for the course. So this is just a really quick overview of the syllabus. You really need to read that for yourself. Also under documents, I put in all of my lectures for catalogs and strategy and my lectures for blue ocean strategy and on course documents I do have some um, uh, mp3 audio lectures that you can listen to these these are optional and they're they're pretty much the retelling of the blue ocean textbook okay now if we go to assignments so in assignments the first assignment is discussion boards so this is just, I'm just posting the assignment here. You have to actually complete this in the discussion board menu link, which we'll, we'll go over shortly. And it's 18 points. There's going to be six discussion board questions, one for each week. And it, they're interesting questions meant to, to spark a discussion. So this would be, take, this is sort of our class time where we'd be in class discussing things, talking about things. So this is simulating that event. Okay, next we have our cases. So case one, the first case one is... Uh, on the drug prices so you would download this PDF here and then when you download the PDF you'll see that I have um, seven nine questions here about and then after that I have the actual case study to read over so this is you would want to read over this case study and then answer the these questions and what makes answering the question successful is that you're not just including only the information from the case but you're also including information from from research uh, from the using you know resources on the internet or the or the campus library there's an online library you can go to to search for information and really or you also your own personal experiences okay so that's case one and then we have case two which is going to be on uh, internet companies and I have um, there's two files here one is a supplemental case um, so if you look, click on one file, it's the actual case, and there's eight questions about uh, internet companies. And if you uh, click on, if you click on the Amazon Facebook, this is a research paper that kind of talks about the monopoly, monopolistic character characteristics of uh, um, Amazon Facebook, which is going to help answer some of the questions on the um, on this case this case two and that's why case two so case one is eight points case two is ten points because it's a little bit bigger then we have case three on uber case uh, four on tesla and then case five on the all-day breakfast mcdonald's strategy okay so those are our five cases and the due dates are highlighted here so we have case one is on june 5th then we have june 12th june 9th june 26th and july 3rd all right, then finally under assignments, we have the Zoom business simulation. So in the Zoom business simulation, it's going to be 15 points. Each student is going to be a team of one. So we're going to, we're going to do teams of one. However, if you know somebody in the class you want to work with, I will allow teams up to three people if you want to uh, create, and create or join someone else's team that you know of. But you have to get their permission first. You can't just jump into someone's team. Otherwise, you're free to work alone. Go to jupyterinteractive.net. To register for the simulation, this is our class code, June 16. And then each round, so you, um, more about the simulation when I go over announcements, but each round will be due uh, one per week for the six weeks of course, of the course from June 1st to July 6th. And each uh, week you get a chance to earn overview points. So your cumulative overview points, if it's greater than 2,500, you, you will earn 15 points for this assignment. Okay, so those are these are all the assignments to the class. Now, to participate in the discussion board, let's go to the discussion boards here. Okay. Okay, so here we have um, a number of discussion boards. The first one is uh, class questions. So if you have 
questions about the class that you want to ask me that that's something that are you know, not private questions but questions that most students may have <clears throat> would like an answer to or, or or that you know other students could answer you you can kind of post it here you can also if on the simulation if you don't want to work by yourself if you want to work in a team you can also um, create a post here to help with that so you could say here create thread and then you can name the thread looking for team members and you say hi does anyone want to join my team and then you want to click on this blue button submit okay and now you have you you've created your your thread so now the student can click on that thread and and they can see oh uh, and they can you click on reply and you say yes i would like to join your team And submit. So here uh, I posted a, a thread and then I'm replying to the thread. And that's how the, the discussion board works. It's pretty simple as that. Okay. So then when you look up here, you'll see the number of posts, the amount that you have on red. So for, for we so we have each week we have discussion questions one through week six. And say for week one, the discussion question is let me just edit this. I'm gonna add a Click here so you know click here you want to click on the blue sometimes it's not that's not always super obvious so the first two I'm gonna put a click here in brackets so you know where to click okay maybe we should do for the first one too because this this is the thing I, I usually get a lot of questions on is how do I I can't I don't know how to post and it's because people don't know that this is where you click okay so you would the question is what uh, company do you think has the best strategy why describe and explain uh, uh, what is their strategy give details what makes their strategy better than that than their competitors so two rules please don't use Apple as your company I'm so sick of hearing about Apple I mean seriously guys talk about something else <laughs> but you can understand how that would be everybody's go-to company because uh, they have a great strategy don't repeat any other students examples so if you see another student post an example on Google or Netflix or Amazon those are the fang stocks if you incl uh, include Apple with that um, don't also do the same company they talked about all right now so that's that's the, that's the discussion now you want to make one post one original post and two replies so the discussion will start at the uh, usually discussion starts on Monday and Tuesday Monday I think is a holiday so you can start Tuesday and that means Tuesday you post your original response and then right down here I so say you post your original and then you reply to other students posts on Wednesday Thursday Friday and you need to make a minimum of two replies so that's the minimum requirement you're obviously free to do more than that and uh, I do like the your answers to be you know at least 200 words on your original post and your replies as well so you reply something significant so let's so you click here to get to the discussion and you see that already <clears throat> one student has posted and this is actually me um, I posted an example so you can click on the example and you see you'll see their post when usually when we post we put our name and then the company we're talking about you can rate you can give it a, a star rating based on how well you think the post is I think this is a great post so you, you read over the post and, and you'll see that you know they cited a couple of sources where they got their information and they put a pretty detailed post up here so if you want to reply you just click on reply and then you would um, enter your Great posts, uh, dot dot dot. You know, hundred and 
97 more words to go. This is an example. Okay, so you post your response, hit submit, and now you'll see there's a response down here to uh, the actual discussion thread. So that's how you do this is this would be considered an original post and this is considered a reply but this reply has to be you know you've got to make it substantial it can't be 10 words it should be closer to 200 words okay the so then if you want to create let's go back so when you go into you go into a thread and you want to create uh, your thread you just click on like we did before click on create thread and then you put your name It may be your company. And then you would answer the questions uh, in the text box provided and then click on submit. And then you see that the next student, you, you become up here with your reply. And I'm actually going to go ahead and delete this since this is empty. But just to give you an idea how you create a thread and how you reply to threads. And for a lot of the discussion boards to get them started, I made the first posting. So you'll see in week two, um, I made two postings, one from Jane and one from John Doe, to kind of just give you an idea of what I'm looking for and get you, you know, um, your basic construct of how you can kind of answer the questions from different points of view. So those are the discussion boards. I don't think anybody will have a problem with this. And I think by now, when I first started teaching online three years ago, a lot of, a lot of students had never experienced the discussion board, but I think by now most of you have done the discussion board maybe too much. So that's why I'm trying to keep it to just one question a week so it doesn't really become overwhelming. Okay. So let's move this back. Okay, so those are the discussion boards and I think you'll, generally students really enjoy my discussion boards because I try to keep them really relevant, interesting, and uh, something that you can actually contribute based on the material we're going over. The, there's, these are the library resources if you want to click here to get any, uh, just takes you to the Stony Brook Library where if you're looking, you're working on, you know, uh, certain subjects. So maybe the Tesla case, you're looking for Tesla, and the open patents they have, and then you could find some uh, articles in here that you can read and cite uh, for um, the case study. So it's just an example of how you can work with this library button to get, because when you do the case studies, uh, or even answer some of these discussion board questions, I'm looking for you to properly cite. So if you make a statement like uh, McDonald's has $5 billion in revenue, Please cite the source of that. You don't make don't don't state facts unless you have a citation behind it. Uh, or if you're going to quote, make a quotation from uh, a different source. Make sure you have a, a citation for it. Okay, so all right, all right. So let's go back to announcements. So announcements is where I try to keep you up to date on what what you should be working on, what the week is going to entail, and um, things of that nature. For the first announcement is just, it's the, um, the getting started video. So I'm going to post this video here, which you're already watching. And then just basically a quick recap, see, a, see assignments for your assignments, see discussions for your discussion boards. And then I have a YouTube playlist that I put together in YouTube for all my lectures. In addition to uh, breaking out each week and what we're working on each week uh, here in the uh, announcements to look over. Same thing for the syllabus. And then I have an uh, announcement on the Zoom simulation. And here, uh, Sunday, June 1st, is going to be the first team competition round is due on Sunday. And you want to click on classroom competition when you log into the simulation uh, after you've registered. And here is a video I've recorded previously. So it may be more, it may have some information in there that pertains to a previous class. So don't get hung up if there's a different class code or I'm, I'm saying due dates on something. This was recorded not recently, but still relevant as far as helping you get started on the standard simulation. The, uh, it's 15 points. Each team, again, can work as a team of one or you can, you can join other students if you'd like. 
you can use the, the classroom discussion board if you want to find some team members. Some people prefer to work alone. Some people want to work with team members. It's up to you. And this is the, the, the web link you want to go to register. Our class code is June 16th. Uh, and I, I believe it costs about $35 for the simulation, which is this is the best simulation I could find at the lowest cost. The other simulation that I was looking at that we use in another section of strategy is the capstone, but that's about $75. So this one does everything I needed to do at a reasonable price. So, and uh, it's very intuitive. It's more Google-like, and I think it's just perfect for the online format as far as being getting it, able to get up and ready and running with it quickly. And then each week, uh, we're going to have a round of the team competition will be due, and you need to get 2,500 overview points to get the full 15 points. So I do encourage you to try. There's a practice side to the demo where you can practice as an individual against computer players you may want to practice a bit and try to get a better idea of how you earn points and see if you're on track if you go into this i'll tell you right now as a warning if you go into this cold and you just run through a round and you don't read the student user guide you don't watch my help videos and you just throw some numbers in there you're going to lose points you're not going to do well so make sure you prepare for this now because this is a uh, summer class and there's a limited amount of time I'm not going to have you fill out the written component of the simulation. There's a component of the simulation where you write, um, there's questions and you write responses to them. They're called reflective observations. They are optional. You do not have to use them. You do not have to work with them. Okay. And uh, it looks like I have another uh, Zoom help file down here. Uh, the Again, the, the final exam will be open on July 7th. And it will close on July 8th. Here are the dates and times. And here are some additional simulation help videos uh, that can help you with the simulation that you may want to look at. And you can just kind of copy and paste this into your browser. And then there will be a couple of videos here where I have um, where I go over the simulation to help you with it as best as I can. Okay. And for the papers, I also uh, posted a, a, a link here for citations. How to, if you're not sure how to properly cite, I expect that when you do use a citation that you use one of these um, current standard uh, citation styles and these are web links where you can learn about these citation styles and figure out how to cite properly okay and then i'm going to post the week one each week i like to post um welcome to the week and give you an idea of what you're, we're going to be doing what you should be working on and the uh and some links to the lectures you should be watching okay so that is the overview to um business planning and strategy this is just sort of think of this as a getting started video i'm just helping get you uh, acquainted to what you're doing so just try to make a routine out of the out of this course where you know on monday you wake up and the first thing you do is make your original post to the discussion board and then you go into the uh, assignments and you work on that week's case study and then you uh, watch the lectures and read the, ch the chapters for the uh, for the course and then you go to the simulation and you complete the round of the simulation for the week so if you figure it every week you have a discussion board question you have a case study and then you have a round of the simulation uh, and, then, and then also don't forget that a really good portion of the learning of this class and what makes this class very valuable is reading the chapters of the textbooks and watching my corresponding lectures and in my lectures to this to this course I do put a lot of personal examples a lot of advice I connect with in ideas and concepts that will help you with the simulation I actually even call out the simulation directly uh, in some of my examples and things to do or not do in the simulation so this class has a lot of support and uh in everything you do and i think you most students enjoy this class very well and find it valuable and i hope that you will as well and i guess from this point if you have any questions feel free to email me or if the questions are not of that personal of a nature you can use the uh class questions in the discussion board to uh, kind of share your question with the other students and that's it and i will be seeing you soon take care